Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamula, has stressed the need for the National Assembly to raise the minimum educational qualification for presidential aspirants of Nigeria. The Speaker said there is also a need to increase the minimum educational qualification for other top offices, including the National Assembly, as against the current minimum requirement of secondary school certificate or its equivalent. Well, joining us to discuss this is political analyst Babashola Degui and legal practitioner Barista Tunji Abdulhamid. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you again. Happy New Year. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I'm Thank you for having me. I'm going to start with you, um, Babashola, because you have run for office before, and I do not know what your qualifications are, but I'm wondering why now? Some people will say it's better late than never. Some people will say it's just one of those um, interesting statements that are made by politicians when it's leading up to elections, just to be politically correct. But is there substance to what the uh, speaker has said? Well, um, I think the speaker has actually spoken well. Whether it ought to have been said before now or not. But the truth is, it is absurd to have a school cert, uh, a, a school certificate, a certificate holder as a president or a governor or someone controlling the economy or the political affairs of this nation. Because for me, I, at, for this generation at this century, I don't know what a school cert holder will do. We have a lot of graduates, we have a lot of PhD holders, we have a lot of professors, who are outside there, and the school that will be controlling the affairs of these people who have actually gone through schools, acquired knowledge, and be able to impact knowledge, but the school that is that somewhere sitting down controlling the affairs of these people. I think it is high time, although too late, for us to actually change that particular competition for any office order in this nation. But Let the, us look at the people, that, look at the people that you're making reference to, they went to school, they acquired knowledge, they are impacting knowledge. But then the knowledge they acquire, acquired might be in mathematics, it might be in geometry, it might be in medical sciences. Does, that does not qualify them to lead people in a country, does it? Should, should a piece of paper be what, what qualifies you to lead a country of almost if not more than 200 million people. Is that just it? Is that what you need to be a leader? Mary Ann, Your piece of paper. Mary Ann, there are, Mary Ann, there are so many other requirements that, is, uh, that must be required for any office seekers. But certificates or your, the level of your education matters a lot. The representative of a country can only be recognized or be identified or the quality of a country can only be on this high level if the person representing that country has a quality education. In this world of today, ranking university what ranking all the world universities now, you will discover that Nigerian universities is 1196. I think that's the highest. So if, one, if a Nigerian university is ranked 1,196 worldwide, ask me, what does a school of a school search holder, where does it fix in? In the world of today, there at least any, any country you go to with Nigerian certificates to secure of a job in any country without you going through their home. Because they have seen the Nigerian certificate as something that is not of quality. So what talk less of someone who has a wire, who has no knowledge about what the world is about in, in, in this current uh, age, and you are telling me that person should be the president, should be the governor, or someone to direct the affairs of the National Assembly. We need to look into that. Is that time? The first time, 19, I think it was 1979, that the school starts certificate was actually uh, introduced in the Nigerian constitution. Even in 1963, it was not stated. But in 1979, they actually stated the school sat order. But in 79, up to this high, up to today, we are talking of about 43 years. It means 
that if you are not ready to move away from your head, it shows that you are not ready to move forward. Hmm. So for me, the, uh, the Speaker of the House of Assembly has spoken well. Okay. Um, Tunji, uh, this, this is... This is for you. Um, he's making an interesting point here, saying that if we must move forward, then we need to also upgrade in terms of educational qualifications. But um, there is a, a space for experience. I mean, let's use Mr. President uh, Muhammad Buhari as uh, a case study here. He's had great experience at leadership. It's not his first time. He has been in the military and he's, he's seen the world. This is contrary to what Baba Shola was saying about not knowing how the world works. But this man has, and I'm not in any way saying that this qualifies him as a good leader or a bad leader, but he does have experience. So where is the place of experience um, other than a piece of paper? Because I could have a master's in something in uh, human psychology. Does that make me fit for a president or a speaker of a me member of a national assembly or even a governor to govern a state? I think, uh, I, I think uh, in as much as uh, I'm not condemning uh, experience or, or, or knowledge, uh, I think the qualification in, the, in terms of paper going beyond the school stars is very, very vital and very, very important. It makes a lot of difference when you go through the world, the world, the world of investors. That being at that university alone, the, the kind of experience we gather is enough for you to even be uh, uh, for to improve your intelligence, I'm not saying those who don't go to really? university don't have because intelligence. we have had we have they, seen youth corps members who've graduated who spent five four years in universities, and they are admitted into a place of work and they're incapable of doing anything. And you wonder if these people really pass through the walls of a university. So again, of course, the university says that you've graduated in character and in learning, but half the time. When you look at some of these people that have been churned out from universities, you really wonder if they did attend universities. So really, should we again be looking at that piece of paper or other things? I, I will see maintain we need to look at it because uh, your IQ will be, highly, will, be, will be improved if you go through the uh, forward of the university. Notwithstanding, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying some people are not... Uh, they still went to university and still not uh, intelligent enough. That does not mean everybody, that, that, that should negate the fact that certificate or going beyond the secondary school is, is not uh, good enough to, to determine who becomes. And in, in, in as much as we're even talking about it, what we're talking about here is not only the certificate we're talking about, the other qualification that will determine whether you can be that. We're saying one of the minimal qualifications should be you being going beyond the university at secondary school level. It is, it is appalling for you to have a, a, a country where you have about 200 million people. And then you will now look for somebody who is not even enough, uh, did not go beyond the secondary school to lead the entire country. How will you understand the economic theory in the, country, in the system? How will you understand the other uh, uh, policies and, uh, that have been uh, doled out by, 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 by the community? So experience cannot be given away. But notwithstanding, the, the, your qualification, academic qualification, uh, will help you in a great deal to understand the system and to understand how to move the country forward and to, uh, to, be, to, to play a leadership role. That would, that would move the country forward. I, it is, it, it, you see, okay, why I see that when you, are, when you want to look for a, a, for a job, not even the president of the country, the, the, the minimum qualification they ask of you is uh, either university or, 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 or above, and then the, the experience would be something thereafter. They will not even ask for, for, for that. So you must have that minimum qualification first. No, that's what we're saying. We're not saying that certificate should be the basic requirement. It must be the minimum qualification because, you see, the, there are, there, there's no way you will not see the effect of somebody who has not gone uh, to the university being a, 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 being a leadership position, that, will be that, 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 that deficiency will be there, and you will see it. So mm -hmm. that, will be, that will be that difference in, the, in, in, in between the, those who have gone to school and those who, are, who just left a secondary school. I'm not saying, no, I'm not, I'm, if you're talking about the secondary school of the old, of the old yes, you can say, we can say, yes, the, 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 notwithstanding, the secondary school is like a university of today, some, some of them, but today university, it's very, very jammy. Second school today is like a old, not even primary, not even what we call to primary school of the, of, of the old. So we need to go beyond the school side these days. We to call that law at the time it was made. That was what was, what, what was relevant at that, at that time. But today, that is no longer, that law is, 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 is a cake and it must be changed. And I, do, I, I wonder why the, it took uh, the speaker this long for him to realize that 
that particular aspect of our law should be changed. Because I, I, I was expecting that that should be part of the, the amendment that they are proposing now. Now, that, that will not be part of the amendment. We have to wait again and, they, and, and, and realize that, look, the, the, those who are not uh, uh, with certificate and a kind of investing uh, degree will be our, may, may be our leader and may be in control of the, of the country, where we have so many professors, so many doctors, so many people who are intelligent in terms of uh, education. I'm not saying those who don't go to university are not intelligent. I'm talking about uh, books now. The, the, the more you go to school, the more you get more experience and the more you get more knowledge. So okay. going to school and having a more certificate, is, even in, in, the, in the Quran, I'm a Muslim, it, it was said that, look, you seek for knowledge, even as far as China. So it, that, 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 that shows the importance of uh, uh, seeking for knowledge and going to school. So I think uh, the, the speaker is on point, and I'm in total agreement with the, with the speaker. Let, uh, let me come back to you, uh, Babashala. Uh, the speaker, I would like to quote him, he did say something about... Um, Raising the minimum educational qualifications being a step in reforming the nation's electoral system. How does that, how do those two go together? Yes, we have all just agreed that it's important to have that piece of paper. But that, how does that reform the electoral system? Again, what changes will it bring in terms of leadership, in terms of truth, sincerity and promises kept? Well, um, before I come to that, I also like to talk uh, more about that uh, school certificate, secondary school certificate. Um, even, in the, even in the Constitution, it is not stated the requirement. Someone who sat for Wahek or Neku and has F9 is a school cert holder. It means that such person can contest, uh, 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 can contest for any election in this country. So for me, as I said, we agree to that. However, it does not actually determine the leadership or the kind of leadership we have. It all depends on the individual who is holding that position. A lot of people are actually occupying positions today, but despite, despite the fact that they have all the qualifications, we are not seeing that changes the impact in the Nigerian economy, in the Nigerian security, in the Nigeria generally. So, based on what he said, the qualification is a basic thing that it must be required. Every other thing is now depends on what each of them possess, as in each person contesting for that position possesses before the electorates can vote for them. So, the leadership is important. The exposure of that person is important. The position or the antecedent of the person contesting for any position is also important. But the basic one must be the qualification of the certificate you possess before contesting for that position. Okay. Um, I'm going to toss the same question to, uh, to you, Tunji. But then again, um, when it's leading up to elections like this, we see we're bombarded with all kinds of conversations and sometimes these conversations are a distraction from what should be and what our attention should be focused on. So for the average voter, other than the, the requirements or the paper qualifications, what should the average voter be looking out for? Because, I mean, the time is now. We're seeing every um, Tom, Dick and Harry trying to throw the, their hats into the ring to run for one office or the other. What should the average voter be aware of? I think uh, average voters will be looking for uh, voters will be looking for a candidate with a, a, a capacity in terms of uh, knowledge, in terms of exposure, in terms of uh, a good ex, and in terms of intelligence in, uh, uh, in, 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 in the, uh, identifying issues and uh, finding solutions to those issues. So we we need a, a, a candidate that will. Be able to solve our problems. We need to ask questions and and, and know their economic policy, know their health policy, education policies. We need candidates that will be able to give us answer to what uh, our problems are today. So we should go beyond the uh, looking at uh, he has integrity, he's honest, he's whatever. Is it does, does he have the capacity? Because integrity alone cannot rule the country. You must have capacity, and that's 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 the kind of thing we are talking about now. Having been a school staff certificate is not enough for you to be to qualify to, to run the country. You must have that qualification. So you must have that intelligence. You must have that, have that capacity. You must be able to, to, to look at problem and find solution to that problem. You must be able to act with speed. And then not uh, the, the age must also be looked into. So that that person 
will not be a liability there after two rocks. And really? then we must look at the we, end conditions. We've seen people who are way older than some of the leaders we've had in this country, outside the country. And these people, their age has not been a, you know, a problem whatsoever. I think one of the oldest people uh, in, in, in government in the U.S. is, uh, I, said, I think I said 2016 was uh, about 80-something years old. And his constituents have been very happy with his job. So I, yeah. does age really matter or is it the intent of the person and also carrying out all no, it, the, it, the promises that they made? In our situation, that you can't compare us with those uh, people we are talking about. Why the not? system is already in place. The, 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 the system there I, it will even check you if you are not doing well. If you are going to do well, the, the system will help you to even do well. The, here, we don't have the system in place. We have people, once we have a president in this country, that president is Alpha and Omega, it determines everything. No, no, it, with, with, with regard to the system or the structure on grant, it, it determines everything. So, when you have, when you have that, that kind of system, you must have somebody who can determine what is good and what is right, and you can take decisions that is that would that benefit the country. So, in comparing our country with those countries, I think we are making a mistake in that regard. If you have 100 years a, a president that day, you will not be doing what our president here will be, will be required to do because certain things are already in place which will not require him at all to even do anything and which will take care of itself, unlike in our country where the president or whoever is in charge must do something before anything can happen. Hmm. All right. It looks like we have our job cut out for us, even the National Assembly. But then who is in the National Assembly? These are all politicians. But I want to say thank you. Baba Shala Degui is a political analyst. And of course, Tunji Abdulhamid is a lawyer. Thank you, gentlemen, for being part of this conversation. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll leave you with what Nigerians have to say on the issue of educational qualifications for presidential candidates. It's been Plus Politics. And of course, don't forget you can watch a replay of this segment on our YouTube channels, which is Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Mary Anakul, thanking you for watching. See you tomorrow. I could say that uh, qualification does not really matter, or it matters in a way, but what matters most is um, if the person has a leadership quality. Leadership quality is what we're actually looking out for, and uh, the people that uh, will take us to the next level. So irrespective of qualification, once uh, any of the presidential aspirants has their leadership quality to uh, be able to you know, uh, lead the country in a better way, I think it's okay. So it does not really matter. But what matters most is uh, the, the, the person that understands the plight of the people, the person that understands the feeling that brings himself down to the masses and then provides solution to how we can uh, or cope or eradicate poverty in the country. So that's what I think uh, is obtainable. Of course, it's very, very important for our next president to be, to be um, educated. Let me put it that way. Higher education, like at least with a minimum of, minimum of um, okay, let me say O level. Fair enough, fair enough, O level. And if we can even get something better than that. Mm, I don't think bringing down or bringing up the educational background of the president can bring any change to the country. What I think is intellectual and wisdom. Uh, the wisdom, I think, depends on the experience also. The experience has to do with not with age or political background, but I think the right person should be taken to be put into the right place. As in, you cannot appoint a footballer to to be the honourable of the or the commissioner of sports or whatever. So the somebody that is into sports should be a minister of sports. Why a doctor should be minister of health and also that with that I think changes can happen in Nigeria and some other countries that are lacking something like that. A higher level of education, I think you have uh, so much experience, you have so many ideas on you that even if somebody imposes something, you cannot just stay and make a decisions on your own. You have to sit down and think in as much in, 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 in the way in as much as your experience, you have to sit down, think and go through that stuff before you sign or give any orders to us. That is the level of education you, you, you can go. That's how education is just so important. It's not necessary. But maybe you could help. Like, if you are exposed to a certain level of education, you realize that there are certain things as people that are civilized, in quotes, are not supposed to partake in, 
when you talk about politics, especially in Nigeria, Nigerian politics is just really ridiculous. So, though it's not necessary, but it could help, it could come in handy, it could help.